What are seven trade jobs that pay way more than people expect? I'm talking about the trades a lot these days because we need the trades. We rely on the trades. And yet we're seeing fewer and fewer people jumping into the trade labor pool each year. And I think one of the central problems is that many people believe that you just can't make money in the trades. But this list proves them wrong because these jobs and wages are based on national averages earned within just three years of starting these careers. I pulled these numbers from a jobs report by Blue Recruit, whose state of the trades report is so good, it's used internally by Zillow. Furthermore, Blue Recruit's mission statement is so close to my own that I've actually handpicked them to be my first sponsor. I did this because I truly believe that Blue Recruit is doing an amazing service in the world, which is connecting people with trade jobs. And they've done this by designing an ultra simple job recruiting app that's built solely for the trades. We have a serious problem these days with even just moving people into these jobs. Folks don't know where to look for them and businesses don't know where to find willing workers. Indeed and ZipRecruiter do not work for the trades. They just don't. They don't represent us, they don't prioritize us, and their features don't fit the skills of people who work with their hands. But Blue Recruit only serves the trades. And with 25,000 tradespeople currently signed up, they're already making a massive impact on this trade labor shortage. So if you're thinking about entering the trades or switching careers in the trades, please stick around to find out more about Blue Recruit later in this video. But right now, let's get into the list. Seven trade jobs that pay way more than you'd expect. That's coming up next on The Honest Carpenter Show. High paying trade job number one is solar installer. Solar installation is an industry that spans the nation now, all the way from Texas and Massachusetts, clear out to Hawaii. Sort of a combination of roofing and electrical work, it's a strong niche trade that I think can be learned quickly, thereby increasing pay fast. You do need a decent tolerance for heights to install solar, and you can't be afraid of slightly techy subjects. But often a good high school diploma and some trade school training is all that it takes to get started on a good money-making path. And how much can you make? According to Blue Recruit's metrics, a three-year solar installer in a good company is looking at about $32 hourly or just over $67,000 annually. Great money for a 21, 22-year-old jumping in with no college debt. And in a similar vein, high paying trade job number two is mechatronics. Mechatronics is sort of a fancy catch all term that now encompasses a whole burgeoning industry. For instance, jobs in mechatronics may include CNC and machine operation, robotics operation, control systems design, and all sorts of hands on electromechanical work. It's no wonder this is such a growing trade. Just look at our high tech factories and shipping logistics companies where so many physical tasks are now automated. Someone has to help design and physically build these robotic systems, and that's what mechatronic techs do. And amazingly, this is still a job that you can still learn at the trade school level and then jump right into the field. It does have a steep learning curve for some applications, but relative newcomers can often expect as much as $29 an hour, which is almost $60,000 a year. And five really focused years in mechatronics can quickly slide you up to that coveted $100,000 a year range. And from there, as the field progresses, who knows? So if you're one of those people who loves being hands-on but also geeks out about tech applications, this field can be an endless source of creativity and money. Now, looking back at more classic skill sets, high paying trade job number three is plumber. It's hard to think of a career that gets more maligned than plumbing, but it's also hard to think of a trade that has made many of my associates so much richer than me. Yes, plumbing can be hard work. You're in crawl spaces a lot and ditches. You have to get your hands dirty. But if you're in a decent market with a good company, you will get paid. Blue Recruit puts the average three year salary now at $30 per hour, which is over 62,000 a year. And I struggle to think of a job that has such an unlimited high end if you play your cards right. Just look at my pal Aaron Gaynor in Columbus, Ohio, who turned his small plumbing operation, Eco Plumbers, into a multi, multi million dollar company. People will always need their plumbing fixed and they'll pay a competent pro really well to do it. High paying trade job number four is one you may never think of, but is super interesting. Elevator technician. This technically encompasses installation and maintenance of elevators, escalators, and moving walkways. But any way you cut it, this is an awesome niche career. Highly specialized trades like this often pay well. And Blue Recruit has the three year average at almost 40 an hour for an annual salary of about 82,000. But the Bureau of Labor Statistics has the full national median at a whopping 97,000 per year, which leads me to believe that not only do people get paid really well to do this early on, but a lot of people also keep doing it over the years. The work itself seems close to mechatronics with an understanding of control systems, 
electrical systems, and motor mechanics. But it also seems to me like it would be really fun to just tinker with this equipment and keep it running well. High paying trade job number five is another classic, and it's basically a two-way tie between HVAC tech and electrician. Blue Recruit has the three-year average for both, paying right at about $71,000 a year, or roughly $34 per hour, which is really good third-year money. But in recent years, HVAC especially seems to have taken a slight edge in earnings. And I think this advantage may have to do with the fact that, for now, not quite as many people seem to pick it for a career. So a scarcity in the hiring pool has led to increasingly better pay. In some cases, that pay increase is mind-boggling. For instance, my hometown of Raleigh, North Carolina, I've known independent HVAC pros who could charge up to $180 an hour for certain tasks and consistently get it. That's crazy money. And I know a lot of electricians who do almost as well. Similar to plumbing, these are root trades that will never go out of style. So I think you can't go wrong looking into them. High paying trade job number six is a fun, rough and dirty trade. Heavy equipment mechanic. There are a lot of avenues to pursue here. Heavy equipment mechanics may work with diesel engines alone, or they may specialize in farm equipment, tractors, or heavy earth movers. They might operate out in the field or work in large factory settings. They may even work in fully marine environments, and their skills can range from small-scale electrical repair to industrial-grade welding. In short, there are hundreds of specialties in this field, and many of them are high-paying. Blue Recruit estimates the average three-year salary to be $40 an hour or $84,000 a year. And these jobs have a lot of high-end growth beyond that. I have a friend whose father was a mobile equipment mechanic, and he was making around $150,000 a year from the late 90s onwards. So he could finance a very comfortable life for his family in Kentucky. One thing I'll say is that this job is very state-oriented. Obviously, you need to be in the sort of place where a lot of heavy equipment is being used constantly, and you might need to be able to travel to job sites on short notice. That's just part of the gig, so keep it in mind. And the number seven high paying trade job on our list is fire service inspector. A trade focused 100% on safety. Fire service inspectors examine structures to ensure that they meet local, state, and national fire codes. It's a position that was heavily codified in the late 90s and has become ubiquitous in all types of construction and development. Kind of an interesting job, fire service inspector is part field work, part office application. It can involve climbing over structures, testing electrical and plumbing systems, and meeting clients to review building plans. Many, many fire service inspectors come out of firefighting, as you would expect, so it can help to have that background. But there are also training certification programs that can help give you a leg up in the hiring process. Earnings can vary by state, but Blue Recruit reports a current national average of $44 per hour or $92,000 a year, which basically tops this list. While it may not have an extremely high ceiling beyond that, it does seem to promise a solid, dependable profession that also helps save lives every year. Those are our seven trade jobs that pay way more than you'd expect. I really wanna thank Blue Recruit for providing statistical data and for sponsoring this video. As I said, if you have any interest in joining the trades or switching fields in the trades, please look into Blue Recruit. The sign-up process for their app is insanely easy. It's not like competitors that require you to fill out applications, upload resumes, track down job posts. On Blue Recruit, you just create a simple profile. Usually it takes about 10 minutes. Then the process works more like a dating app, pairing you with companies and employers that match your skills and ambitions. And this is also perfect for companies looking to hire tradespeople because they can search profiles based on job type, certifications, experience, salary, location, and more. I truly think their app is gonna change the trades for good. All of Blue Recruit's links will be in the description below. Sign up is absolutely free, and you can go right into the sign up process with just one click. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to check back soon for more videos coming up, and please consider subscribing and hitting that bell button to turn on notifications. That way you'll know the moment we post something. I'm Ethan James with The Honest Carpenter. I'll see you next time.